Students from Westside High School were on a field trip on a small boat in the Port of Houston when their boat was suddenly capsized. They were on an educational field trip and were going to be gone all day. The boat was flipped over when a significantly larger ship was unanchored from the nearby shore. The larger boat drifted away from the shore and collided forcefully into the rear of the student's boat. Here with me I have Sammy Taylor, one of the first students to get pulled out of the water surrounding the boat. Tell me, Sammy, what was, when did you first realize that something was going wrong? Well, I was turning in the corner to get to the back of the boat and then saw this really giant boat and it was so big and then it hit our boat and I got knocked into the water. That sounds terrible. What was your first reaction when you got knocked into the water? Well, I was knocked into the water pretty deep, so I was just trying to get to the surface and swim around the boat a couple of times and then this dude in a helicopter pulled me out. Thank you for your time, Sammy. I'm glad you're okay. There are 100 students on the boat, staff members from the school, and the boat's own crew. All of the people currently in the water are under the sinking ship, in the water surrounding the bo boat, or inside the underbelly of the ship. Here I have with me James Tyler, one of the first police officers to arrive on the scene. Tell me, James, what did you first do when you were at the police station and you were called to action? Well, I'm one of the helicopter operators, so I had to get my gear on and start flying. And what is the protocol for rescuing a student with a helicopter? I look for the ones that are struggling the most, so I lower a ladder down to them. Thank you for your noble work, and thank you for talking to me today. All right. Bye. Well, that's the situation down at the Fort of Houston at the moment. First responders are still hard at work to pull the remaining students out of the water. Tune in tonight at 7 p.m. Central Time for the full update.